Okay. Here we are at the beginning of level nine. Mr. Mongoo is our first enemy. And maybe you want to take a look at my deck. This is the deck I'm using. And mainly what you need here, you need traps, you need blades, you need faint, and you need Dr. Vaughn. And this is probably not going to defeat the enemy. So you need a smaller spell. If I got a wrath, you might get away with a vampire. Um, and you need a lot of shields. So let's get started here and go in and see what we can do. And the first thing you always put a shield on. Uh, not very many shields up. So we'll put a shield on here. And the thing to remember about shields, you don't need the shields because they hit you. You need the shields because they have capability of hitting you. So you put your shields on according to how many pips they got. Now I have a shield, so I can do a buff. So I'm going to do the feint. Always have a shield on if you do a feint. Because your side of the feint, if you don't have a shield, they'll probably kill you. So this is what you want. You want them to hit you when you have a shield and after you put the feint on. So now he's going to remove my side of the feint. Now that's what we want, so we're in the clear. So now he still has pips here. We need... We need a shield. Oh, lucky we got a shield came up. So you need a shield if he has pips. There we go. He might or might not hit. Now we're hoping he doesn't. If he doesn't hit, we're in the open to put a buff on, which we are. So now we can put another buff on. So we're going to take the blade. What we need here, the biggest that we can do, maybe there's another spell, but what I'm doing here, a blade, a trap, a feint, and Dr. Mon. So we have the feint on him. We have a shield. So I'm going to put the trap on him. So now we have our blade, our feint, and our trap. Now hopefully he isn't going to put a negative on because then it wouldn't be a very good hit. So we're, what we're going to do, we're going to hit with the Dr. Vaughn. But we're not taking a risk. If he's still got pips, we have to put a shield on. So don't think, because you're probably not going to kill him with this. I'm not sure if that would kill him. Um, he's 3751. He's 3850. It wouldn't kill him. So if I hit him, he's going to have a small amount of health so he can kill me. I'm going to put a shield on here first. I hope he doesn't use a spider. Darn negatives, they really cut you down. Yeah, he did. So now our hit isn't going to do 3751. Our hit is now going to do 2808. And it's not going to be anywhere near his health. have double hit. So in this case, sometimes it's better not to hit. Um, I need a shield though. Put a shield on. Uh, sometimes it's better to put your buffs on first because what happens is if I hit him he's not going to be dead and he's going to start healing himself and then I'm going to need too much of a hit to, to get him down so I've got to try and kill him quickly 
before he heals after the, my first hit. So I'm going to put shields on. We have to have a shield anyways. I think he can hit, but he, one pip he's not going to hit anyways. But that's going to allow me, I'm going to put another feint on him. It's our, our biggest buff is our feint. So that our second hit is going to have a bigger hit. If, if, if I just hit him and I have to spend the time to put three buffs on him, he's going to be full health again and I won't be able to kill him. So what I want to do here, I still have a shield so I'm fine. What I want to do here is I want to put buffs on extra. So I'm going to have two blades and I've got two feints. And I'm still in the clear, I still have it, that, so I'm going to put a, a trap on. So now we've got two, tra two traps, two feints, and two blades, so we're double buffed. Now the reason for that is because he's going to keep putting these negatives on us and we're not going to be able to kill him with a hit. And if I k hit him and don't have any buffs after I'm done hitting him, He's going to heal himself fully, and I'm not going to be able to kill him. So we do have double buffs, so we're going to hit. Now that's going to take three of our buffs, our blade, our tra trap, and a feint. And it's going to hit 2,808. And his health is 3,850. So he's going to have a thousand health left after this hit. Oh, we got a little more, 2,812. Okay, so now what we need, we've got all our buffs, we need our pips, and we're in very good shape. We got three. However, he has pips, we don't have a shield. Always shield if they have pips. So we're going to put the shield on here. And we don't care much whether he hits or not. We don't need the shield in order to put a buff on. We already got him on. See, there you go. He's healing. And this is what he's going to do. He's going to keep healing. And we need the buffs to do our Dr. Vaughn again. And we don't want him to be above 2800. So we're passing because we have a shield. He passed, and here's our Dr. Vaughn. We have our, now because we did it in advance, we have a blade and a trap and a feint. And we have our pips for Dr. Vaughn, and he only has 1176. And this is going to hit 2,808, and we got 12 last time. So this is how you defeat the first boss on level 10. When we get to the middle, not going to be so easy. So here we go. A negative, and our blade, and our feint, and our trap, 2808. And we have full health for the next room. So there you go. Now here, you have to have strategy to win this. And you have to think in advance what you're going to do. These guys are basically do the same thing all the time, mostly. But it's the healing and the negatives that they put on you that are really mess you up. So here we've got the tree hugger and the Mr. Mongoo. Now this the Mr. Mongoo, he's 3850 health, and, and the tree hugger's 4240. So the goal here is to get rid of one of them. Because if you get rid of one of them, it's going to be way easier to win this. If you don't get rid of one of them, they're both going to be hitting you, and this is going to be quite difficult. So I'd say get rid of that Mr. Mongoo first, the same way we did in the last room, and hope 
that we have enough shields so that they don't hit us too much. Maybe our pet will help us too. Okay, let's see what we can do here. So first, you're gonna have to shield a lot here because they just keep hitting you. So you just keep shielding. Right away, he puts the negative on me. So we're going to need our double buffs. Sometimes you can only put one shield on it one in one turn. Sometimes they both hit you. Well, look at that. My health is down, but my pet's going to help me. It's not good to start out with this whole low health. So we're at a disadvantage right now. One good thing is they don't have a lot of pips now because they just used them on me. So we definitely need a shield. And the goal right at the moment is to have a shield on without them having hit us then we are open to put a buff on can't get the buffs on if you if they're going to kill you so you got to get the shields on so now we have two shields and they could both hit us if they wanted we'll see what they do so this guy he's going to hit me no he didn't and those um those shields, by the way, are useless to them because your um, your Dr. Vaughn goes through the shield and doesn't use it. All right, I got double shields. We're open to put a feint on. And we're going we're gonna to go with the lowest health one because we need the advantage of having one here, not two. So that's the first thing we have to do is get rid of one. And don't use a scarecrow in here, they'll never make it. Because they'll just keep healing themselves. You have to kill them fast before they finish healing. So once you give one a hit, they're gonna start healing that guy. And you have, have you've only got a short time to finish him off. There my pet helping me. I'm lucky because my health that's not good health there. This is not a good start really. You want to always keep your health as high as you can, of course. Okay, we have one shield. We have two shields and and only one of them can hit me. So I should get a chance for another buff here. I hope you don't hit me because then that would be an advantage. Now there we go, he's gonna hit. He got a blade too. If you had a bigger deck, you wouldn't get hit as hard here. I, I've got deck eight. Can't get the ruins. It takes so many ruins to make the deck. The death ruins. All right. So we have one shield. One of them, I think, is the only one that's going to hit. So I'm going to put the trap on him. So we're getting there. We got a we got a trap and a feint on him. hit. Hopefully this guy won't hit too. I don't think he will. Now, however, they can both hit now. They have enough pips. We need to put our shields so we have two shields. Because there's two capability of being hit there. Alright, now there goes one of our shields. Okay, one shield. I don't think they're both going to hit. I'm going to, I'm going to go for the blade. So now we got one set of buffs. We 
may not be able to get a full a full set um, on this guy with two of them against this, but if you have a choice between the three buffs, use the feint because it, it, it's the strongest one, and then the blade. So probably if you had a feint and a blade, your second hit would probably be okay. No, we need to eat a shield. Good, and I think I better put another shield on. I don't want to take a chance of them both hitting. So this is good. We got one shield ahead now. We got two shields ahead. Uh, so we'll go with the second buff. Of the faint. And what I'd like to do is at least to get a blade on, which I don't have up. No blade. Well, I'll go with the trap. This is one of their biggest hits here. Yeah, I'm already at 750 health, so this is going to take a bit out of me, over 100. Probably maybe, hope not 200. Oh gee. 423 with a shield. Oh, Pat, you're coming through. Thank you, Pat. Can you see that? 423, and I had a shield on. It's because he had all the buffs. All right. That guy's not going to hit. Okay, we got one shield. That guy's not going to hit. I think we're safe to go for it. So we're going to go with our first hit. Now, the Wrath with a feint a wrath with a feint will do 1200 but I've also got a trap on there so I do have a wrath here to get rid of him quickly um, I'm not sure how much the uh, shield is going to add to that 1200 I got a negative on though it's going to take it's going to equal I'm not going to hit 1,200. Only 1,200 is all I can hit him. If he's below 1,200, I would be able to do it. I, I wish I'd have put the other blade on, though. It wasn't up on the deck. All right, here we go. What's he got left? 1,000. Um, got that and those on them. I have, I have to put a shield on anyways because they got pips. Quite likely this Mr. Mongoo is going to hit me. Hopefully this guy won't. There we go. He'll hit me as sure as anything. Oh, there we go with the healing. So now my spell isn't going to kill him. I think it will. This should do around 1200. I hope this works. I don't want to have a long battle here. So we 
got the trap and the fade. We need 1200 here. Oh, I think we got them. And that also gives us our health. And, and those spells that heal you back with the death spells, they don't care about those uh, shields that he put on, the life shields. So we got full health. And we got a shield. We're gonna faint. We have a shield. <coughs> there we go with another spider. Oh man, I hate those spiders. The problem with the spiders, it doesn't take much pips for them to do it. So they keep their pips up. And they put this negative on you, so now you don't hit so well. Anyways, we have to put on a shield here, of course. His pips aren't too high, he's not going to hit me anyways. But with the shield, now I'm free to put a buff on, so I'm going to do the blade. And we have a faint on, we need a trap on him now. Oh good, he didn't hit me. I'm open to put a trap on. There we go. So we got one set of buffs, but we have a negative. So not gonna be enough. So we still have a shield here. I'm gonna put the second fade on him. So our ultimate goal here would be to have double buffs, which means we need another trap and another blade. There's the blade. We still have a shield. Let me put the blade on. So now we got the double blade and a double feint. That's pretty good. We could probably do it with that. If you want to be safe, get a trap on them, a double trap as well. Three hundred and three. Pretty high when you considering you got a shield on, eh? We better put another shield on. He's got lots of pips left. Uh, nice of a shield. Ah, oh, there we are. Uh, we have a shield. So now we're going to have double buffs on this guy. So this puts us in very good shape, except our health is a little on the low side. And here we go with another negative. No matter how many negatives he puts on, once you got one, your hit only uses one of them. So it doesn't matter if you, you can just keep putting them on. It doesn't use his pips up though. It's a low pip spell. All right, so we're gonna hit. Actually, that was a mistake. I don't have a shield. <laughs> he might kill me. At least I'll be full health. This is the problem with this. Make one mistake. And the chances are you might be dead. And I just made a mistake. I didn't put a shield on when he has pips. Big mistake. So what's he going to do? Is he going to hit me? Yep. So here we are. Now I have to suffer the consequences of my mistake. I'm hoping he won't kill me. They hit pretty big up here. So I'm still alive. That's not bad actually. With no shield. 
So now he has no pips, which is a good thing. We've got all the buffs. I think I'm gonna. I had a. Um, I don't want to lose all my cards. I had a wrath, I think. If I had a wrath, I could probably do this before he before he heals too much. The thing about these guys up the top, one of the things they do, as soon as they're not full health, they start healing. See, he's already got 1,400 here. So we've got two, four, six, eight pips. We only need nine. Um, I don't need to because I got a shield. But I'm going to put a shield on and uh, hope that he doesn't go above what this will hit. And with a 25% negative on me, Blade, Faint, and Trap, this should hit 2,808 with our Dr. Vaughn here. And he's below that. So we should be able to do this. And the nice thing about the Death Wizards, or Death Spells, is <coughs> that when your health is low like this at the end of a battle, and you use this spell, your health is going to go full. <coughs> So you're going to have full health for the next room. 2808. Does that 12 sometimes? I wonder why that is. 2812. So there you go. This is probably the most difficult room of the whole game. The next one is our good friend, our teacher from the life school that you should all be familiar with, Molinda Wu. Isn't she nice? The thing is, she wants to fight with us right now. And she's not as hard as the rest. She's actually, I found, she'll probably be, make a liar out of me saying this, but she, I found that she's a little bit easier than, than some places. She's really not that hard. She will put the spider negative on you. But the single monsters are always easier. The double ones, they're the hardest. All right. We're just going to put another shield on here, and we're looking to get our pips up and, and get our buffs on here. So, let's go with the faint. my shield. You ever notice these pets heal you when you don't need it? <laughs> but you gotta be thankful for them healing pets. Put a shield on. And we still have a shield, so we're going to put our trap on, or our blade on. <coughs> put our blade on.
So we're going to have to double buffer. So, yeah, you know, sometimes you can get away with putting, actually, what I need is I need the trap on her. So we got one set of buffs. Sometimes you can um, put a buff on without a shield. As long as you're quite sure, you know, with, with two single pips, she's not going to hit me. Highly unlikely. I hope she don't think she has a spell with two pips. But now we better put the shield on now. I suppose you need to put it on first. It doesn't matter if put it on first or second. Just have to make sure you don't get hit, that's all. And we have a shield, so let's go with our second blade. Now she's going to take my shield off. left here. We have not we don't have any buffs left to put on. Let's go for it then. her health up. Now, we have a blade is all we've got. So a blade with a wrath will do 1,035. What does she have? We can't kill her with that wrath. We need pips. We got six and we need nine. I we'll hope she don't heal. If she heals, we may not make it. I'd rather she hit, because I do have a couple of shields left. So... A Dr. Vaughn with a blade <coughs> is 1635. It won't even kill her. Oh man, we might not make it. Well, let's see what the luck does for us. We'll do the Dr. Bond. If she starts healing, we're not going to be able to win this. Because this isn't going to do enough. 1635 is what it should do. Two shields to get us through here. This is going to be close. Two shields to get us through. Her health is 361. Our wrath will do it. We need six pips to get this wrath in. So I'm rather hoping that she hits me rather than uh, heal. It's our only chance. If she heals, we're not going to make it. 
So we got two, three, four pips. We need six. And she, we got enough to hit. 361. Wrath will do it. Pass. Power pip, please. Oh, good. She didn't heal. Power pip. There we go. The wrath. The wrath does 719 with this decade. She's got 361. It means that we have barely made this, but we win. Sorry about that, Melinda. But you shouldn't be fighting with me. We should be friends. There you go. Level 10 completed. And I think some of the guys said that they farm this level 10. I think it's uh, because they want this spellments, maybe. I don't know what drops up here. The Ravenwood desk. And these ruins here. I need the death death runes what I need. I can't make the decks. I don't have enough ruins. There you go. Level 10 complete.